spent the night at Wildlife Adventure Tours River Base Camp in the village of Shivpuri. Next morning, we headed 40 more miles upstream to our destination, Deoprayag. We're here at the beautiful city of Deo Prayag, which is over 2,000 years old. And I'm sitting on the steps of, of the headwaters of the Ganges River. On my right is the Bhagirati. On my left over here is the Alakananda. And both these rivers were run by an American expedition in 1976 and 1977, led by lead boatman Ken Warren. The confluence of the Alakananda and Bhagirati tributaries from the main Ganges River at Deoprayag, where these rivers give birth to the mighty Ganga, Ken Warren's remains will merge with her power. His soul, perhaps, will find new adventure. So we're here to perform a ceremony and say goodbye to a fellow rafter. As I came up the road uh, from our river camp and uh, arrived in Deoprayag, I saw several Whitewater River camps. And I realized that most of those people were trained by Ken and myself in our home and our business, Ken Warren Outdoors. And I really see that river rafting has taken off in India. The Ganges River traces her origins to the Himalayas. Descending from her icy heights across high cliff suspended gorges and boulder strewn beds, the river cuts against bedrock and crashes into boulders. Breaking into whitewater rapids, the river foams and swirls and falls into a thunderous din. She is the river of hope and faith and is often referred to as the beautiful lady with the long flowing hair. Her other name is the goddess of destruction. She is the most sacred of rivers in the world. Every year, millions of souls seek her purifying powers at ancient pilgrim destinations such as Hardvar and Rishikesh at the bottom of the Himalayas. At Rishikesh, the river eddies into a smooth flow across the great Indo-Gangetic plains. This is where the end of the rapids marks the entrance to a paradise for river sports enthusiasts. The countless launching points that are located further upstream offer access to a nearly unlimited variety of whitewater boating challenges ranging from very easy to extremely difficult. The return of the Hindus' mortal remains of the Ganges River symbolizes a new beginning in the endless cycles of eternity. The cycle of Ken Warren's life was about to close. Jan had come to India to fulfill a promise, her husband's last will. The first descent of the Ganges and its two tributaries 17 years ago had led to an era of high adventure for Ken and Jan both. When he realized how the Holy River had changed his life, 
he decided that one day he would return to her forever. <laughs> There is a romance about the Ganges, or the Ganga as it is called in India. It is a sacred river, worshipped for its life-giving waters, and it is a lifeline for the great northern plains of India. In the upper reaches, the Ganga flows through the picturesque mountains of Garhwal, also known as the abode of the gods. Here it is a young river, its icy green waters frothing over boulders and cutting their way through steep gorges. The confluence of the Alakananda and Bhagarati tributaries forms the main Ganges River at Deo Prayag, a most sacred place of worship. This is where the 1977 expedition began its third and final leg. It was merely coincidence that the day I committed Ken's remains to the river turned out to be a very special holiday for women, to come to these steps for the purpose of asking the gods to watch over their marriage in this life and reunite them with their husbands again in the next lifetime.